there, welcome to my bathroom. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've been trying to come up with some new video ideas and I was kind of looking around, just perusing YouTube and came across a video that I thought was super cute or a video topic, a video idea. And I thought I can do that. That interests me. So I thought it might interest you. Today, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look around my master bathroom. I'm gonna open up all of the drawers, all of the cabinets, and show you what's going on in here. I just moments ago saw this video on YouTube and thought, I'm gonna do it. So I brought my camera into my bathroom and here we are. I thought this could be fun, so let's do it. So hey there, my name is Renee and welcome to my curls. And you all have seen my bathroom in so many videos. I talk about my hair, my gray hair, I've done skincare routines in my bathroom, hair product things in my bathroom, and you all have seen it over and over. But you all normally only see the one angle of my bathroom. I don't think I've ever shown you around my bathroom and I certainly have not opened any of my drawers or cabinets. Let me tell you, I did not come in here and clean my bathroom. I didn't straighten my drawers. I straighten my drawers. <laughs> I didn't um, purge out any products. I'm gonna show you exactly what is going on in my bathroom right now. These are products that I use. You know, everything that's in my bathroom pretty much is something I use on the daily. And if it's something I love, I'll show you what it is. So here we go. I don't really know what we're gonna find. Like it's weird because I open the drawers and cabinets every day and I guess I just kinda gloss over what's in there. But when I have to actually explain to you what is in my drawers and cabinets? Here's my bathroom. So let's start by showing you the actual bathroom itself. So here it is. We have two sinks. This is my side. This is my husband's side. Then we have a jacuzzi tub, which let's be honest, I haven't gotten in this thing in probably 10 years. This is our toilet area. And then of course, the shower. And y'all don't judge me, my bathroom needs a serious deep cleaning. So I'm really questioning why today of all days I chose to show you around my bathroom, but it's on my to-do list for the weekend is to clean my bathroom. So ignore the dust, ignore any uh, gray hair that you see laying around. I promise I'm gonna clean my bathroom. But for today, it is what it is. This is my sink. I've shown you all before my favorite, favorite soap from Bath & Body Works. It is the Orange Ginger Aromatherapy Soap. Love it. This always sits on my countertop. It's just stuff that I use constantly. I need to be able to reach for it. I've got Q-tips. This is my favorite hairspray. Whoops. I love the Pantene 2 Dot hairspray. It's a very flexible hold, which is perfect for my curly hair. So I keep that out. This is, um, I don't know, my mascara. I keep my mascara in here for some strange reason. Don't really know why I keep it on the countertop. This is my favorite lip liner. It's from Sephora. It's called Rose Wine. I have two of them in here. I keep my eyeliner in here, my eyebrow brush. This is something that I reach for throughout the day to make sure my brows are okay. And I keep that in here along with just some randomness and this is my toothbrush, Randy's toothbrush. Randy has a tooth picking obsession. So he has one of these little picker thingies. And then this is my toothbrush. And then I have a cute little plant and y'all, my mirror. This is one of my favorite things in life. If you don't have one of these mirrors, you need one. And here's why. There's two sides. There's a magnifying side and a regular side and it has Watch this, touch lights, four levels of lights. And I absolutely love this mirror. So I keep it on the countertop because I use it constantly all day long. And then I have a little lamp just cause I don't like a dark bathroom, but let's get into the drawers. So I have three drawers and an under sink area. And this is Randy's side. He has two small drawers and an under sink. I'm not gonna get into his stuff, but I'm just gonna show you mine. Oh my. Okay, what do we got in here? Well, this is all of my eyeshadow palettes. You all ask me often 
what eyeshadow I use. And, and you know, I just change palettes all the time. I love this one from Too Faced. You can see which are my favorite colors. They're empty. This is a palette that I just got. Brecken got it for me. Brecken got it for me for Christmas. I've only used it a couple times because it's brand new. I love Urban Decay palettes. So yeah, all my eyeshadow palettes. Here's all my scrunchies. Here is my nasty headband that I put on to protect my gray hair when I'm putting on my foundation and blush. That's why it looks that way. Yuck. This is my facial moisturizer that I use every morning and every night. Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation. This is the bomb, y'all. And this is my eye cream, and this is new. Kendall got this. Uh, for me for Christmas and I've just started using it. So eye cream. I've got my little mirror that I use to, you know, look at the back of my hair. Oh, and then here's all the goodies. I keep my lipsticks, my favorite lip gloss, my eye drops that I use every morning and every night, refreshed tears. This is the I clip my t-shirt around my neck when I'm drying my hair to keep the wet hair off of my shoulders. Fingernail clippers, stuff to put my hair up. Oh, here's my Aquaphor. My Anastasia eyebrow powder, eyelash curler, all the things. And then this is my favorite foundation from Tarte Amazonian Clay. I use a Bare Minerals powder. This is my Tarte brush. And then I use two blushes, Warm Soul from MAC and another blush from Tarte called Natural Beauty. So all of my powdery stuff stays right there. And yeah, all of my eyeshadow palettes. So that is the top drawer. Oh, and you're wondering what this is. Y'all, I've done a whole video about this. Um, this is what I put on my fingers when I get cuticle cracks in the wintertime. I put A&D um, diaper rash cream on my fingers at bedtime, and so that is why this is in here. Drawer number two is hair products for the most part. Well, I say that, but this is my little makeup brush holder. It holds my blush brushes my eyeshadow brushes. I keep my eyeshadow primer in here from, it's from Lorac. Keep that in there. So it's really easy to just pull out and set out when I'm doing my makeup, but I don't want to look at it. So it actually stays in there. Box of Kleenexes. And then here's my hair products. My Continuous Mist Mister, which is, I gotta have this little sucker. My favorite, favorite hair product from Catwalk, Curls Rock Amplifier. I've got my Super Skinny Serum from Paul Mitchell, Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel for my hair. And then once I get out of the shower, this is the lotion I'm using right now, Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. Put this on my legs and arms. This is what I put on my feet and heels. And of course, you know, I got my deodorant. And then when I wash my face at night, I've got my Clinique liquid facial soap and my Clinique take off the day makeup remover. So this is just stuff I really don't use. I tried it, don't love it, whatever is back there, but that's drawer number two. Drawer number three is gonna be boring. This is where I keep my headbands down here and this is my favorite hair dryer, the bed head diffuser. It is, again, one of my favorite things in life, and it's kind of down here by itself, but that's drawer number three. The cabinet. <laughs> Trash. This is my little basket that I keep my empties in for when I do my empties video for you all, so that's collecting empties right now, and a scale. I am going to show you this one little drawer right here because Randy and I share this drawer. This is our toothpaste, floss, my vitamin E that I take every morning, B12, 
occasionally I'll take that and then we've got like tooth picking things because like I said, Randy is obsessed with picking his teeth. But I guess it's really just my countertops that are dirty. My mirrors need to be cleaned and I cleaned my toilet yesterday. It was, it was out of control. So I cleaned the toilet. But anyway, let's move on. Let me show you um, what's in my toilet area. Okay, my little toilet area, it's in this little kind of closety room and above it is where I keep all the secrets. And by secrets, I mean my shellac fingernail polish. This is the only, oh my goodness, look at the dust. Okay, ignore that. But this is the only place that I could find to keep all my polish where I could see it. The polishes don't fall over, it just seemed perfect. So this is all my fingernail stuff, extra toilet paper. And cotton wipes. And let me show you something else, y'all. This is my squatty potty. If you don't know what a squatty potty is, Google it. You need a squatty potty. Do you have a squatty potty? <laughs> Not to talk about pooping and being in the bathroom, but y'all, a squatty potty is life altering. Look it up. Get a squatty potty. And then we're moving on to the shower. It's dirty. I know it, don't judge me. This is what I use. My Matrix Total Results Shampoo and Conditioner. I have my Joyco Purple Balance Shampoo. On the days when I feel like my gray hair is dull or yellowing, I will use this. My Dove, whoop, Dove Shampoo, or Dove Soap that Randy and I both use, and we both use a loofah. This is his, this is mine, and Oh, this is all tight and here's his Randy shampoo. We have lid scrub and then our St. Ives blackhead clearing stuff that I just love to put on my face in the shower. It makes my face feel good. Uh, we've got our razors. Razors. This is the only time that I comb my hair is in the shower with this little huh, dirty comb. And then about once a month, I have a stone that I'll do my heels with. And, um... Yeah, that's kind of the shower, guys. So that's my bathroom. That's inside the drawers, the cabinets, and all the secret places. Um, things I probably never would think anybody would look in my bathroom, but there it is. I shared it with you. If you enjoyed that, let me know. If you have questions about any of the products that I use, comment below. I'd be glad to help you out. And I talk about a lot of these products when I do my empties videos, you know, a couple times a year, but there are a lot of things that I just never even think to talk about. So if you have a question, let me know. Until next time, I'll see you later.